hey guys welcome to ss unitech social this side and today we are going to see about the data flow debug option so before going forward if you haven't watched the last video of this video series where we have discussed about the data flow so what is the data flow and on what scenarios we can use the data flows so this is kind of transformation activities we can use under this so we can implement for example we are getting a raw data and we just want to do some transformation on that data and after that we want to load that into the destination so we have to use the data flow on that case so we have already discussed about the data flow in the last video so today we'll be going to see about the debug debug option or the data preview we can say so azure data factory and snaps analytics mapping data flows debug option allow you to interactively watch the data save transform while you build the debug your data flow so this is basically we can just preview the data for any source transformation or the destination so we can validate before going to execute that data flow next is the the debug session can be used both data flow design session as well as during the pipeline debug execution of the data flows next to turn on the debug mode the data flow debug button is on the top side of label so we can directly open that so go to the azure data factory inside the browser and where we'll see in the practical so basically we are here in the azure data factory so here we can say the option for the data flow that we have already seen the third option under this factory resources add a new data flow here and this is something we can call that data flow introduction that we have already done in the last video but this is for the debug now here we can add the source and we can add the sync so i just want to copy the data from this blob storage and under this ssu testing container we have two folder that is the input and output so i just want to load the data from this input folder from the employee file that is the employee india so here go to the edit and this file is having four columns and three rows so we just want to load this file from the input folder to the output folder of the ssu testing container so here in the output as of now we don't have anything so that is no results so by using data flow we just want to copy the file from input to output folder so this is the actual task and in between we will be going to see the data inside the data flow preview option so here as we can see the add source so we can click on that so here simply we can see like data set and inline so that we have already discussed so let me quickly try to add the data set here so as of now we don't have any data set so let me try to add a new data set so that is from the azure blob storage click on continue delimited text file click on continue here we need to specify the data set name so this is for the employee source and this is input folder in the link service we have to create a new link service because we don't have any link service here so let me click on new and this we can call as ssu testing now in the below side we can add the azure subscription so this is the azure subscription and after that storage account name so ssu testing is the storage account name so everything looks good now we can test the connection here so it should succeed so that we can see connection successful now we can click on create so this link service will be created now under this we can see the file path so we just want to get the data from the input folder and here we have the file that is the employee file so click on okay now here the first row as header so that is true now click on okay so it will be creating the data set for the source now we just want to add the sync on this so on this source here we can see this plus symbol so we can click on that we can see all these options let so let me search for the sync so this is the destination and under the destination let me try to go here and here we can see the data set so let me try to create a new data set 
and the limited text data set name that should be emp destination and this should be output folder link service we can utilize the same that we have already created first row as header here we need to browse the path so we can select this path now we can click on ok so it will be creating one more data set and that is created now everything looks ok here we can see the debug option so as of now it's off so let me try to click on this button so here we can see the option to turn on the data flow debug so it is having the time which is for one hour only and this is the integration runtime so as of now we have only this azure one now we can click on ok so here it is on now we can directly select the source or the destination and under this we can see this data preview option so we can go there and let me try to refresh it so it should have the three rows as we have already seen in the source so it is fetching the data so here we can see the data so let me try to make it little bit bigger side so here we can see three rows same thing we can check in the sync side we can go in the data preview and we'll try to refresh so it will have the three rows there as well so here as we can see so data will be loading in the destination and these three rows will be there now here we can publish this so how we can execute and we'll try to load this in the destination side that we need to create one pipeline so that we will be going to discuss in the next video so don't worry for that in this video let me try to publish this so it's publish completed so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video